Hello everyone, it's Vanessa. Welcome back to another video. I'm very excited for today's video because I'm bringing you guys a back to school outfit inspo. Just a whole bunch of back to school outfits because well, it's back to school season. This is literally my favorite season of videos. I love back to school videos. So if you guys didn't know, I am going into my third year of university in the fall. I feel kind of old, um, but this can be like university outfits as well as high school outfits. A lot of these are dress code appropriate. So I really hope you guys enjoy. I'm also very excited to announce that this is in partner with our den and they have given me a discount code for you guys. So it's just Vanessa T20 for 20% off and all of the items will be linked down in the description box below. But let's just get into the outfits. All right, so starting with this first outfit, this definitely is probably my favorite outfit. I always wear an outfit like this in some sort of way, literally just a basic tank and jeans, but I love that this white tank is high necked and it's ripped, so it's got a little bit of detailing. I've been looking for something like this for so long and I love this one. And then I'm just wearing these little 90s high-waisted jeans. You guys know I'm a sucker for a straight leg high-waisted jean. And then my Air Forces. And then I threw just a pair of sunnies on my head, my hair in a low bun. I have these little bangles on as well as some all other gold jewelry. What I love about this style of look is that it looks like you put a lot of effort into it, but literally it's just a tank top and jeans. If you were just going kind of out for a day on the town and it wasn't really a for school outfit, I would definitely throw on a little bum bag like this one here. I love the giant gold chain and I love that it's gold because it goes with all my gold jewelry. I literally am such a gold jewelry girl. I never wear silver, but this right here would be the look. For school, one other option would be I just took off the bangles and then using a cute tote bag just like this one and throwing that over your shoulder. So in high school, I always used a backpack, but now that I'm in uni, I literally never wear a backpack. It's always some sort of over the shoulder bag. And I love these big canvas totes because they can fit a binder, your notebooks, your laptop, whatever you need. So if you are in high school, these also work and are super great and convenient. And then you can also style them with your outfit, which I love and I think is super cute. For this next look, I just switched my Air Forces out for these little high-topped neutral converse and then threw on this big baggy tee. So this t-shirt is actually from the men's section. You guys know I'm a sucker for an oversized tee and I loved this neutral one with just a little bit of writing up here in the corner. So I grabbed it from the men's section. I was like, yes, I need that. But again, such a simple look, but I am a sucker for a streetwear look. So just a straight pair of jeans, an oversized tee, and you're good to go. So a few different ways that you could style this. If you didn't want to just bag your tee, you could do a little Parisian one-sided tuck. So just tuck in the one side so that it hangs to the side. Or you could go with a classic just knot if you're not into a super oversized style just give it a little bag so I think that it gives it kind of a really cute cropped baggy sort of look with the high-waisted jeans you guys know that I am such a sucker for a good loungewear sweat set look so I picked up this forest green sweat set from our den and it just says balanced here on the hoodie as well as on the pant leg and I feel like this is so on brand for me. Literally this is something I will wear to school when it drops to like 10 degrees and I don't want to wear jeans but I still want to look put together. So I threw my hair up in a little claw clip and again Air Forces. Honestly sweat sets are such a vibe and I feel like if you have a good matching set you can still look really put together really chic but casual i love wearing my hair up anytime i'm wearing something oversized or just something that's kind of um encompassing my full upper body i feel like it really draws more attention to your face as well because your hair is kind of out of the way i feel like this is a good friday like casual friday sort of look so if you wanted to kind of wear a wet set style outfit but it was still a little bit too warm out to wear a hoodie something that I would do would be to grab an oversized graphic tee something that's got a similar color palette to what you're wearing so I just have this little Aspen Colorado one from Arden and it's kind of got the same tone of green as the sweatpants so like I was saying if it's a little too warm out for a hoodie just throw on a cute graphic tee and you're still good to go
And to finish up the sweat set, sweat pant style looks, I have this little charcoal gray set from our den and I popped back on the plain white tank. So this is something else that you could go with. This is actually a crew neck, not a hoodie. So I, what I love doing with crew necks is literally just tossing them over your shoulder or you can tie them on your front like this and I feel like it gives it such a different vibe. Or just a graphic tee and sweats, or a tank and sweats, you have something else a little bit going on, and it also is kind of there to keep you warm. But then I also just popped on my Jordan 1 Obsidians, and I feel like if you have more of a statement shoe with a really basic outfit, it kind of makes it pop a little bit. This would be my next sweat set school go-to. All right, next we have a little bit more of a preppy outfit. I literally have been obsessed with this style of top. Got a little bit of extra detailing down here with the little like strings. And then I love tennis skirts right now. So whether it's like a plaid tennis skirt or a plain white tennis skirt, I feel like you can make this a really cute look. And then I also just paired it with these little black and gold chain slides from our den. So if you're a little bit more of a preppy girl, someone that likes wearing skirts, this one is definitely for you. So if you're into skirts but not quite into the whole crop top situation, something I personally love is hoodies or crew necks with skirts and of course you know me so I just top it off with my high top converse again and literally this is such a look and then you're much more cozy I feel like on the top but you can still feel kind of girly and wear a skirt. Something that was such a huge trend last fall was like the crew necks with a little button up poking out underneath and then a tennis skirt and I am here for it. I definitely think it's going to be a trend again this fall. So you will definitely see me wearing a tennis skirt and um, a crew neck and a button up again. Let's just say I love that trend. So I left on the hoodie for this next outfit and threw back on the 90s denim because this is also such a me outfit when it gets a little bit colder in the fall. Literally just wearing a cute hoodie, something that makes a little bit more of a statement or can be super basic and just a nice pair of jeans with sneakers and you're good to go. So these next two outfits are going to be jean variation outfits again. So I have this cute little, it's almost like a butter yellow ribbed tank top. It's so comfy and so cute, but literally first back to school outfit, similar to the first one. I love just a good, simple ripped tank if your school allows spaghetti straps, but I think it's really cute and it's so basic and so comfortable. So something that I've been loving to wear this summer are bandana tops, so I'm definitely bringing them into the, the warmer weathers of the back to school season, and I literally loved this one from Arden. Not only because the pattern is so pretty, but also it's an actual full top. It's got like an elastic -y top at the back, so it fully covers, it goes fully around, you don't have to worry about it getting untied or falling off like it's super secure and safe and if you've worn a bandana top maybe you know and understand that feeling of wondering if it's going to fall off if it's going to come undone if it starts to get loose and so this kind of just bypasses that and i also feel like it's a little bit more school appropriate you could throw on a little basic cardigan with it as well and just make it a look okay this last outfit is not your usual your typical back to school outfit but I absolutely love this little matching set from our den. For my uni, college, legal girls, this is something you could wear going out to a club or going out drinking with your friends. I think it's literally so cute. For my high school girls, maybe it's something that you wanna wear to a semi-formal. Like I feel like this is really cute for like my little grade nines and tens. A cute little matching set, a skirt and a tank top because you can pull it down and make it look like a dress. And I love that it has the little ruching at the side and you can kind of make it shorter or longer depending on how you want it, but I love it. So that is all the outfits that I have for you guys today. I really hope you enjoyed this little back to school outfits video. Thank you again to our den for sponsoring this video. All of the items will be linked down below as well as the coupon code. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Hopefully I will see you in my next video and I love you all so much. Bye.